ันเต็มเทนอุสอันเพ่แม้ไม่ได้เทนนักเขียนเพลงคุณอิมาจินเลฟินเทลชิว Well, we just got to the auto yard, so we are about to hop out and see what my car is looking like. Yeah, sad and somber day. So we will check back in once we see what I can actually salvage out of the car. I'm sure Aniva will record me going through my car and all my emotional roller coaster that's about to take place. So. We're going to tell the story on what happened when my car got stolen a few days ago. So basically, my car has been getting a, a lot of attention lately, which I really didn't notice. But one morning, I actually walked downstairs, getting ready to go to the gym, and my car was gone, surprisingly. So. Uh, USA actually sent us to the wrong auto yard, so we had to actually go to the tow yard. And this is when I was first walking up on the car. It was my first time actually seeing it face to face. Um, yeah, pretty traumatic experience to to say the least. On like first seeing it, when I had went downstairs, like getting ready to go to the gym, looking for my vehicle, and then all of a sudden my vehicle s not there, but the passenger side window was laying on the ground. I run into the house. I'm like screaming. I'm like, "Yo, yo! They done stole my car! Like, they got me! They got me!" And he was like, "What are you talking about?" Um. So the cop comes, fills out the accident report, and then I file the insurance claim. I call UConnect. I ask UConnect because they help me out. UConnect was ex like no help at all. And then they tell me, "Yeah, it's about 20 days. We'll look for your vehicle, and then after that, we'll rule that total loss." And then all of a sudden, I get a call from DC Metro Police, and they tell me, "Hey, we found your vehicle. It was in a three-car accident." But while the cop was talking to me on the phone, I'm like, "Look, my car has been stolen." He says, "Yeah, I know. We just found it. It's been in a three-car accident. It's total." So I asked the officer, "Could he send me pictures?" He sends me pictures, and I'm I'm like in shock from how my car. Was because I took a lot of care of my car, like really good care of my car, and then to what it was now, like what you see here. Um, this is me, like trying to get whatever I could out of there. They took like random stuff. It was just irritating the stuff that they took, and it just didn't make sense. They really, like opened up my emergency kits that were in the trunk, dumped everything out. They took my twenty dollar gym bag, but left my one hundred and fifty dollar shoes, which. That just doesn't make sense. Like they were idiots, and it it just yeah it just doesn't sit right with me. Um, yeah, so like he said, when he did come in and tell me that my car was stolen, like I thought he was joking because who just thinks they're gonna wake up and their car is not where they parked it at last? So yeah, it it really sucked to see him going through that because it is a material piece of like it's a materialistic thing, but. When you've worked really hard to accomplish what you wanted to do and get the car of your dreams, and then just to have someone snatch it from you and then do this to it, it definitely sucked to see him going through that because he was kind of up and down. At first, it wasn't really bothering him, but then the as the days passed, it I could tell that it was weighing on him that someone stole his car. Yeah, it was. It just became irritating. Like it just irritates you. Because I could see if I was in an accident, I'm like, man, I was in an accident. Okay, it's in the shop, or they got to tow it out. But to have somebody just take it, and then like right here, you can see they ripped my wicker bill off. They took my logos for my business off. They, yeah, so they just rode around in my vehicle, like it just it didn't even look like the the same car, and it was just it's hurtful at the same time because. I looked at this car for about two years. Like I built this car. Like this was my exact vehicle that I wanted. When we were in Texas, I was looking at this car. I'm like asking my buddies, like, "Hey, can you take me for a ride in yours? How you like it?" I'm like asking people all this stuff. So when we came up here, like one day, me and Aniva, 
the kids were in um in school and we were just like look we're gonna go get the car like i found the car like that day we went to two dealerships and then when i saw this one i was like that's the exact color that's what i want and aniva like blessed off on it um at first she didn't really she didn't really want me to get this car because i think she she kind of knew like that was that was gonna be my my little thing but uh yeah after seeing it like this it's just it's crazy and people steal them a lot especially after like finally getting the rental vehicle which getting a rental vehicle it took days to get because everybody sold out of like rental cars right now and they're telling me stories about like hellcats and scat packs that get stolen around here all the time and then when you're talking to the police about it the police are just like yeah so they're probably like taking the parts off your car right now so we're not gonna really look for it and you just sit there and you, you're just like in shock because you're like wow like that's that's what's up like i guess my stuff doesn't really matter but cool so yeah yeah um one big piece of advice we would say to people when they're buying a new car is make sure to get gas insurance definitely um that definitely helped us out in this case um, because could you imagine having to continue paying for a car that someone stole and Man. then destroy? Like, as if getting your stuff isn't stolen isn't bad enough, but then you have to continue paying for it. Like, that's just yeah. Crazy. So, yeah, always make sure you get the gap insurance when you're purchasing a new car. And that's, that's a funny part about it because I asked USA on the phone, I was like, hey, um, you know, my car payments do on the first, uh, should your boy still pay that and then i'm like i called the finance company i called my bank that i got my car note through and i told them everything i'm like hey like the car got stolen and, and some banks will actually work with you some banks uh they'll put a note on your account and say like hey the car's been stolen or whatever my bank did that so they put a, a note on my account saying that the car has been stolen and they'll they'll work with you but seeing my car like that like yeah my, my car is definitely not coming back it's, it's definitely not fixable. Yeah, no. That's gone, exactly. But all of my military paperwork was was found. So that's definitely like one thing that I'm probably going to start changing and switching up is uh, not keeping paperwork in the car. Yeah, you always talking about me and keeping stuff in the car. I don't leave my stuff in the car anymore. Yeah. Except my PC, which they took. Yeah, they took hers. No they left mine. Why they wanted that. It, yeah. I always leave like an extra PC for an even in my car just in case she had to drive it and them jokers took it. But this was uh, our stolen vehicle experience. We appreciate y'all stopping by. We appreciate y'all still watching. And if it's your first time, like, comment, and subscribe.